Congratulations on the purchase of your new Continental Crimper. This machine is designed for years of reliable, worry-free operation. In this video, we discuss the PC-150H. This unit is designed for hoses up to 1.5 inches in diameter of 2-braid and 4-spiral construction. The crimper skit comes with 9 die sets that range from 16 mm to 56 mm in diameter. They are color-coded and labeled for quick and easy identification. In addition to the crimper and dies, the only additional tools that may be required for operation are calipers or micrometers, as well as safety glasses or other protective devices that may be required by your employer. Your crimper should be bolted directly to the workbench in such a way that a hose assembly may be inserted and removed easily without making contact with the work surface. Detailed mounting instructions are included with your unit. When moving the device, always use the handles on the side of the unit, remembering to use proper lifting techniques as the crimper is top-heavy. The crimper must be plugged directly into a wall socket. Never use an extension cord as damage to the motor or other electrical components could occur. Next, remove the shipping plug from the pump reservoir and if necessary, add ISO grade 46 hydraulic oil. Ensure that the oil level is either visible in the sight glass window or that the fluid level is approximately one and a half inches below the opening. If this is your first time using the machine, replace the shipping plug with the breather plug included with your purchase. Selecting the correct die for use is vital for proper crimper operation. To begin, use the hose and fitting crimp specs manual provided to select the correct hose and fitting for your project. In this example, we are using an S4SP-08 hose, which requires an SG fitting. We will be using die set 27 brown with a setting of 2.4. The micrometer must be at zero and the hold release valve must be in the hold position before installing the die set into your crimper. Start with the master dies fully open and using the quick change tool, place the die set into the crimper. Then slowly close the crimper head, making sure that the retaining pins enter the location holes in the master die. The die will click into place when it is properly positioned. Withdraw the quick change tool when the head is fully closed. Then, move the hold release lever to the release position. This will cause the master die to return to the fully open position. Lubricate the master die using the provided Molly disulfide grease and a flush type grease coupling. Close the crimper to the zero position in order to grease the machine through the eight grease zerts. Failure to lubricate this area may result in premature wear and damage. Ensure the foam pads are replaced at this stage. Prior to crimping the hose, it is important to verify the insertion length. This number can be found in your crimp specification chart or by using the Contitec Crimp app, which also provides information on die set selection. Ensure the hose is cut cleanly and mark the correct insertion depth using a caliper. Set the crimper's micrometer to the recommended setting using the number provided in the operating manual. This can be done by rotating the top dial. The top number represents the whole unit, while the number on the dial is for the decimal. In this example, we are using a setting of 2.4, which requires us to rotate the dial to place a 2 in the top window and 0.4 or 4.0 on the dial itself. When finished, lock the micrometer. Next, fully insert the hose into the fitting, ensuring that the correct insertion depth is achieved. You may twist and rotate the fitting as needed. Turn on the crimper using the breaker switch on the top of the unit. With the valve in the release position, insert the hose assembly from either direction into the crimper, taking care not to disturb the die set. Hold the assembly in place until the crimp is complete. The manual retraction stop can be set to limit the amount of crimper retraction. This allows for faster cycle time in between each crimp. Activate the crimp cycle by pressing and holding the green close button or the pneumatic switch. The pump will remain on after the crimp cycle is complete and the die have retracted. If necessary, move the hold lever to the release position to retract the die and remove the hose assembly. After finishing the crimping process, measure all four flat sides in the center of the crimp to ensure the finished crimp is within the tolerances provided in your crimp spec manual. 
do not measure over the ridges of the crimp surface. If necessary, the crimp size can be adjusted by making small adjustments on the unit's micrometer. Once calibrated, you can make repeated crimps quickly and easily. Continental crimpers are designed for years of trouble-free operation and include features to aid in making crimps quickly and accurately. If you have any further questions, please contact your local Continental representative.